Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello. How are you feeling? Excellent. A little bit tired, I think. I see. Uh, I just want to be sure if everyone is here, our dear members of Juryu, Alina Biliuta, say hi to everyone. I failed to launch. And Kellen Rostislav. Uh, and to be sure, uh, let's applause to each tier. Team Ideal, Bucharest. Yes. Team Plus Five. Okay, guys. Team Plus Five. Okay. You guys can see sharp. Okay. So, Team Yellow Panel Sutidoi. And Architect. Okay, to make it more efficient, I just want to remind you some rules. You do have 10 minutes for a presentation and 5 minutes for the questions. After each presentation, you're going to have 3 minutes to prepare the next presentation. Because you has, uh, need also time to be prepared to, to, val to evaluate the previous presentation. Okay? Um, besides that, I'd like to invite uh, Flory. She's going to tell us what was the task for tonight, for today. Okay, okay. so for today, uh, the task was to create a plan for a re rehabilitation uh, constructions, I don't know, for uh, Izmit in Turkey. So, as all you know, I don't have, uh, I don't need to, to make Say it uh, more, uh, more yeah. words in yeah. details because uh, you all know you are not new people here, so okay. Yeah, just okay. 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 Thank so, you, Laurie. And as usual, I'll randomly start taking you the teams, and the third team is gonna tell us about their rehabilitation system. It's going to be... <coughs> you, I can see Shark! I have a, oh, a small announcement. <laughs> uh, the jury mentioned that uh, if you do have any materials paper. on paper, paper materials, please leave them after your presentation to the jury so they could uh, evaluate more. After? Yeah, after, after all presentations, everyone's materials, okay? Yeah, you ready? <coughs> Okay, uh, you guys can see sharp. Your time starts right now. Okay, looking through the hourglass. That's what we'll do. We'll look back, present, and in the future. Let's start looking back a bit. <clears throat> Have you ever lived an earthquake? The motions that come in an earthquake. The two motions. Horizontally and vertically. These motions, when they combine, you can simulate the outcome 
on a specific structure that has so many elements. <coughs> there are so many variables that you have to take in and you can't simulate all of it. There, there always will be one flaw. Okay, but first of all, why are we so afraid of earthquakes? So, the first <coughs> problem that we have, and it's a big one, is not exactly the structure itself, but what we have inside our building, what we have, the furniture. Because I think most of you have, and I have too at home, we have furniture that are that old, and we have beds right here. So in case of, a, of an earthquake, they will fall exactly on top of us. Mm -hmm. Also, we have things on, our, on the ceiling, but near the beds, also they can collapse. <coughs> also, what, uh, what another problem is, that in Turkey also, uh, but in uh, this part of the world actually, is the are the internal problems like corruption because you know how it happens: a brick goes through the door and only half of it stays exactly in the building. And furthermore, we don't have exactly a view of of a perspective to the future. Like we build as we think, but we don't have the bigger picture. These are the research figures. As you can see, we have an external interpolation to see in 2004-2034, as scientists, scientists said, uh, there will be an earthquake with uh, the magnitude over 7. This is from the study uh, received. Mm -hmm. Let's live now in the present. We have three phases in, on which we want to re rehabilitate the whole uh, city. This is phase one. In the phase one, we make a map that shows the properties of the buildings in car city. And after that criteria, we can search the buildings like uh, schools and hospitals for high priority than normal buildings. And then we can change and we can start the phase two. In the phase two, we will inspect the buildings in real life. Then we will make a map with the buildings that need to be have and in a certain order. And uh, of course, we will uh, take in considering, in considering uh, the building with history that, reco that requires a special attention. In the phase three, what I want to say is in the evacuation plan, what I saw in Italy was a red light in every home, building, office that turned on when there was an emergency situation. We currently don't have this in Romania, if you know it. You will have a home, but you don't have to put that red light, that red saving light, which turns on with uh, that has external batteries, and might save your life in uh, case of an emergency in the dark. It is very important for us to change and repair the facility, like electric gas and water grid, because these are a real danger for people. So that thing is high priority for us. We also make uh, links between the furniture and the walls. Because in an earthquake, the furniture can move and then you can harm yourself. Also, I have a connection between uh, the building, the entire building, and the ground with uh, steel cables so that we don't change the design of the building and we ensure a high uh, security and high safety. We also have links between uh, the window and the stress wall so that in an earthquake, when the uh, wall start, uh, start to move, will have uh, the right uh, connection so that you can stop the moving. And we also use the compressed steel and steel cables for that procedures. Moving on to the costs, uh, let me tell you some numbers. To rehab a old building, we have a total cost of uh, 50,000 50, 50, 50, euro per building. And uh, for our employee, uh, we have to pay 40,000 40, euros per month. So in the end, uh, per apartment will be 1,600 one, 1, euros. This includes our profit of uh, 3,000 euros. Okay, but, and now we need to look our, at uh, our weak point, strong point, etc. So, so, one of the main strengths is that we have local workforce and a workforce from uh, the neighbors of Turkey, as you know, Syria, Iraq, and uh, they want, of course, uh, they are cheap uh, method of uh, having uh, people. On the other side, the weakness is that we have lime as a main component of, of the soil. 
So we know that it has a porous um, <coughs> configuration, and it can, of course, it can crack. It had, it can have uh, water leaking inside it, and it can uh, cause major damage to it. On the opportunity side, uh, main uh, target for us is the age range. So the, the main population is from 20 to 49 years old. So we think that they will have they will have more understanding on this uh, particular topic. On the threat, uh, of course, is the earthquake itself. And um, moreover, is that is, um, is if the winter plan is delayed, uh, we uh, we can have a catastrophic ending. Okay, let's look forward. And this time, we can see sharp. Brings you the horizon. Learn from nature; it has more experience. Okay. So the specification blindly are a triangle foundation, which means that we have we have the the poles, uh, and we have the foundation as a two uh, layer sandwich. Between them, we have a triangular uh, frame the um, sealing the uh, material. So we know that the triangle can disperse the the shock wave of the of an earthquake. Also um, on uh, on the structural uh, uh, part of the building, we, we will have alarm triggers, sensors that we uh, that uh, if uh, something happens to that part of the building, a certain sensors are triggered, goes to one of our servers, and we know exactly what happened and what we can do next. Uh, and also, as we as I said, the furniture fixing it will be as low as possible and to uh, to be safe for the people. It has been uh, illustrated is the cells. In a window, we have photovoltaic and piezoelectric cells in windows and walls that generate electricity for the building. Even though the costs you will see later are a bit, bit, uh, I don't know, higher, hot, hotter, uh, the building will pay for itself practically because it generates electric, uh, electric power. For new buildings, we have a total cost of uh, 185,000 euro per building. This is the cost from the steel cables to the pipes. For employee, <coughs> we have to pay 85,000 euro per month. This means 1.2 million euros per year. An apartment will cost 16,000 euro with our profit of 20,000 euro. We have a uh, 700,000 euro profit on a medium building of uh, 35 apartments. Okay, uh, here uh, is uh, our planification uh, of, of our project. We split it in two. The first part is the rehabilitation of you know, the, what we have in the city currently. So we have the financing, the legal framework, we, we know which is troublesome, and we split the rehabilitation for the residential buildings and for infrastructure, like buildings, like uh, uh, bridges, all that, all that stuff. And also, we are planning how to do the build the horizon, as we talked before. And as you may know, in the ending, we like to say something. Learn from the past so we can live in the future. Questions? Hi guys. Hi again. again. Con congrats for the presentation. Thank you. Tell me how much it will take for you. It's, for example, uh, it happens now. How much time it you will need it now to rebuild? Okay, so we are planning to rebuild it in ten years. We but can come back to the to okay. the chart. Yes. Yeah. Okay. This one. Okay, so we have. This is the rehabilitation process itself, like the building itself. But before that, we need to have the legal framework, we need to have the financing because we, we know it's troublesome. And also we need to have the research because we have we want to implement new methods on, uh, on that specific So topic. you want to prevent something? Uh, yes. Uh, we, are, um, we are planning, of course, to prevent casualties from the earthquakes. But we need to have certain times to make it 
This is the start, and this is the end. This is the end for all the city that we have. So it's ten years, nine, where you can see from here, nine years. Okay. Alex? Okay, uh, so please tell me where you find the money for this project. Uh, yes, um, on that aspect. So um, we have, we can have financing from the government as uh, or private investors. Also, uh, as we showed on the map uh, here, is that it's pretty near to the seashore. So we can have investors from the real estate agency that they can invest in such a part of the what we what we want to do. Okay, and just one more. Uh, in three simple methods, what you will do to the old infrastructure to support it? Okay, so because I didn't understand. Really. Yes, of course. So, at the infrastructure, we um, we have bridges. So bridges have joints uh, that, uh, and these are the weak spots that we want, that we want to have. So we are planning to put uh, rubber dampers to. Uh, to the ends of the each uh, portion of it, so they have free space to move. Mm -hmm. um, also, regarding the regarding the tunnels, uh, we will reinforce the ceilings of it and also the ends and the entrance because we know that if they collapse, all the traffic uh, is shut down. And also, um, uh, in case of uh, this happens that uh, the tunnels can be reached from uh, the ends. We are planning to build more emergency uh, access. My colleagues said, as a specific uh, for bridges or tunnels, phases, the phases, you meant the, phase, the three phases? No, 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 just three methods how you will inf reinforce the old infrastructure. Oh, okay, so because you are talking about new buildings, but the, the plan for enforcing the old infrastructure wasn't really clear with the cables and uh, with the furniture. Okay, so. Uh, it was uh, for the infrastructure, uh, but now, <coughs> if you want, we can move to residential buildings that we know that they have certain problems because we can't change the design of it. Uh, what uh, we want to do is to put uh, uh, steel cables to the joints that uh, uh, that are vulnerable, mm -hmm. uh, at the, the strong point that are vulnerable, uh, as uh, they are doing it in the present too, not to change too much the the design uh, of the building. Uh, and also uh, to um, go on the foundation uh, to put uh, dampers, again, to uh, decrease the impact that the movement has. Okay. I, also okay. have, I also have one oh. question. Yes. What you, after you will uh, analyze all the buildings, all the situation of buildings, what you will do with the building, buildings which will not be possible to reconstruct, to improve? No, no chance. Absolutely no chance. The building is actually collapsing on its own. Not yet, but Not uh, yet. the price to rebuild will be higher than to build one new. Of course, uh, if that uh, that happens, we need also to act with the one that. Did you, are... did you analyze it such cases? Yes, yes, yes. yes. because we have historical uh, buildings which most of them have this problem. And I'll let my colleagues uh, talk. Okay, so the thing is that, first of all, we need to see exactly if the ones that are living exactly in the building feel safe or they want to move out, because we know that in Bucharest also they have, uh, we had this kind of problems, and the people exactly just wanted to move outside of it, and this is why we need to have the legal framework for to, to do that. We need to talk to the people and present them what there's lying in their building. It's not, I, I mean, it's their home, but it's, all, it's also uh, a danger for them. Okay. So we want to... What, are, what will be the options which you okay. think okay. it can be? No, can move okay. okay, so uh, the thing is that if nothing can, if nothing, uh, can do... Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, thank okay. You. the time is now, but uh, as a facilitator, there is... Copidilas Patrosutidori, they have... So they're so persistent that I think they I cannot offer them a word. So you do have a uh, question? Have a statement. There is a five minute time in which we take questions from the jury and then if they don't want to put questions, we, we, we can have we'll it. take from the okay, it's okay, we'll take it. it can, but it can legally it, it can help our, you or it can Exactly, that's the point. Okay, so I, I give you the decision. 
So you can take it or you can... Okay, no. No. Can, I, can we talk a bit? Okay, you can we make no exception? Like for no other team the same. That's the rule. Okay, so one, take one minute. Okay. Uh, but you gotta have you gotta have just one minute to, yeah. to answer the question. Okay, fast. Our quest was to make a plan to rehabilitate uh, the buildings in order to survive after an earthquake. How did you manage to do that? Uh, you build a new, a new project based on pyramidal structures, but uh, changing uh, what? Okay, so you have to first of all, the wait. So what? you, we have the past and the future. You ask us about the past, how we consolidate and rehabilitate that part? Yeah, in order to survive after an earthquake. Okay, okay, the world can slide a bit, but you can take it again. Okay, the same, the exact same answer that we gave to the jury, uh, the exact, exact same methods, the dampening, the cables, absolutely, that, the, that's the reinforcing support. the Reinforcing the... Door frame. The door frame, the door window, the <coughs> window frame, and all that stuff. We have that work on the building. Thank you. The time is out. Okay, the jury has three minutes to put points, and the next team is going to present their project. Rehabilitation of the town is going to be. Copii de la 420! Uh, in time the team preparing the materials, so I want to remind you one more time, respect other teams. And do not talk during the presentation and during the answer to the questions. Please be quiet and do not make noise, okay? Thank you very much. <coughs> Just a second. So, team Copy de la Patro Doi, are you ready for your presentation? Okay, so your time. Starting right now. Hi, we're the kids, we're back. But this time with an um, earthquake solution. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, before talking about the solution of the seismic uh, structure, we will uh, start a problem. The main problem for uh, collapsing the uh, building is that the structural system is uh, too soft. And the structural system consists of the foundation and the structure upper, the palace and the beams. So, uh, why would the people make such a big and major change to their buildings in order to survive? Because only a few people are aware of the problem, just uh, only until it happens. So The solution we, depends on building size and the people needs. So we came with a nice campaign to inform people about the danger of the the danger of the seismical, uh, seismical uh, <coughs> damage, and uh, we came with a solution uh, considering the, the type of the buildings, and we grouped them in three categories considering the height of them. So we thought about the buildings that have one ground floor. And uh, two, two to floor. Uh, the buildings that have one floor and three to five floors, and the buildings that are higher than five floors. And considering those buildings, if uh, there is a specific 
consolidation of the structure, so it would resist to a seismic uh, seismic uh, attack. So come, here comes the first uh, solution for. Uh, First of all, uh, the reinforced concrete. Uh, that means uh, that uh, for the buildings with uh, ground floor or just one floor, uh, one more floor, uh, we will uh, just uh, duplicate uh, the uh, resistant structure with uh, concrete uh, reinforced concrete. Uh, the second uh, solution is uh, steel columns. That is made uh, for buildings uh, with uh, two or more uh, floors. Uh, we will uh, duplicate, but with the steel, uh, uh, steel columns uh, because they are more uh, uh, resistant on compression. The steel columns comes along with a already existing reinforced concrete structure for uh, increasing its resistance for the action of compression and action of, of horizontal action. As uh, we, we saw the homework, just a moment. Next system that we implemented is a system for uh, uh, a much higher building that consists of a uh, lurement base mm -hmm. that works uh, in, the, in the following way. We have the ground floor problematic ground floor. We have the, our basement, our foundation, that is formed by uh, devices that looks like a ball, not like this. Mm -hmm. It's just to... to are some rulements. Yeah. It's, it's like rulements that are put in different parts of the building, and when, it, when the ground moves, pay attention with the move of the rulements and the move of the building. It would be much, uh, much uh, softer mm -hmm. than... Uh, this system the is the Oshiban action. So the complex, the complex solution, uh, we wanted to dip, to get down to the a solid, a solid soil where the rock is for incarceration of the mixed structure of. Uh, that is made from concrete, reinforced concrete and steel columns, that this movement generates a new, a new space beneath the existing building that can be beneficial for the investors, for the habitants and for the client. This space can be, uh, can be a commercial space or uh, a parking lot space where the habitants can have their cars, or a storage space, whatever the needs are. <coughs> so the building is on the the, on the urban system that eliminates the, the horizontal <coughs> action of the city. We, we decided to, to improve the seed quality by creating a, a green facade and to revitalize the area, like a, a, a core, a core of the city, bringing new green spaces and uh, new new spaces for kids or people. Uh, eliminated the car that are beneath the building. The core of the city comes from the fact that the higher buildings are in the center of the city. Considering an urbanistic plan, the higher buildings are in the center of the city, where everything happens, where everything is happening. Okay, so the SWOT diagram, we will st I will start with threads, and uh, have to say that uh, one of the major threads is the long time of implementation of this project, and considering the, the age of the building that I built now a long time ago. And another uh, thread, the technical one, is the, the type of the ground level. As we said here, we did less, did that, so the basement has a more solid um, uh, foundation terrain because the type of the terrain is very important for a building. <coughs> okay. Um, <Next>. this... <coughs> okay. 
<coughs> Another thing is our strains. We use the reinforced concrete structure, which, which is the best solution for uh, the effects of an earthquake, which, which is uh, um, <coughs> uh, compression. And uh, <coughs> we, need, we use additional spaces for rent that will make us re recover our investment for the buildings. <coughs> Um, the Gantt uh, uh, chart was made uh, for the first uh, one and a half wheel, we start the research. After some research are made, we can uh, start uh, advertising, uh, getting, uh, pe letting people know that, uh, the of the danger. The fundraising, main, uh, uh, main fund income, it will be uh, assurance company that want the building to live on. Um, and uh, after we do uh, some fundraising, we can start the uh, uh, auction. Uh, after the auction, we can rehabilitate uh, the buildings one after another. Depends on what uh, depends on the buildings that are needed uh, to be rehabilitated. Um, priorities are made in uh, after the research, depending on the problem. So, people, if you want to read the paper, you have to read Okay, thank you, Uh And it's time for the questions. Do you see any risk in uh, searching for the hard soil there for these tall buildings? In uh, searching for the hard soil? Yeah, you told me us. Uh, yeah, you're gonna uh, we search. need a uh, harder soil in order to yeah. have a. What are the risks of this scenario? Uh, not founding uh, this, uh, not founding the soil. That's the only <laughs> risk. You know the Pisa Tower? It's a, it is exactly the same example. You have uh, two soft foundation terrain, the building will, will collapse. Exactly. More yeah. Yeah. And in case of an earthquake, the softer the terrain is, the more uh, the, there is a more danger. That uh, it will it will uh, collapse. Okay, I understand. So, what? considering the geographical area of the of the city, it is in a near the sea, so it's it, it, it is not uh, a rocky area. So you have uh, a hard uh, terrain. We we decided to dig so we can find the sun. I understood. So, we, very good. What are the risk of this implication that you will make on, on these buildings? Won't you create situation of during uh, your work there? Maybe. Or other risks? Oh, the risks of doing that. Yes. Mm, it's okay, you can make it using the same method we used to make um, panels. panels, yeah. We dig it beneath it mm -hmm. and we we'll put temporary, temporary columns mm -hmm. to get the work done. Okay. They are building maze from the top to the bottom, so yeah. we can <laughs> start with this, this area. So you see no risk in this scenario? Uh, no. with, Other than with, finding... Uh, with certain research, you need to do certain research and uh, have some qualified uh, uh, workers. Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay, I have a question. Uh, you give an example for horizontal moon. Yeah. Why, if it happens vertically or combined? What is your approach? Because, okay, see, yeah, but it's different if ever about that move in both directions. In case of an earthquake, the problem is that will move this way. Well, the, the, combined, uh, the combined move can be taken by the uh, steel structure that is, is likely flexible because of the material, the material characteristics. And uh, this is it's not cast. This is not uh, just uh, uh, just this move. Uh, we use the balls of steel, not uh, some uh, uh, railway. Uh, so, uh, so the building can move in like a circle. More questions from the jury? Uh, yeah. No. Okay. Yes, I have a questions about your uh, 
how uh, you say the Rosenheim system is wrong, it's not going to be anymore, and which is better. Uh, I think. Um, <laughs> and, uh, how yeah. you will use this system uh, with all construction, with uh, historical construction, and uh, then, uh, the question of the jury, uh, you will make an amplitude of uh, building more than the seismic amplitude when you use this type of system. Which type? Rumen? Rumen, yes. Because Rumen will make so uh, vibration in all buildings, which will be uh, increase the seismic. No. No. The Rumen's are meant to stop the vibration of the building, as we saw. It's the just, building yeah, it's more softly, just tremors, the building stays. Yes, and you want to use this uh, system in uh, historical, uh, in historical building, how you will uh, change yeah. the foundation, yes. If a historical infrastructure existed 300 years, I think it exists enough to, to rehabilitate it. Just Depends on the type. Uh, this uh, project, this solution was made for five or more floors. Um, uh, As you know, you cannot change the, the structure or the materials or anything that uh, uh, has something to do with the historical to the building. You cannot and what change. should be the uh, gamut of your building to keep the weight of five floor buildings? Dimensions. Yes. Dimension of the Dimension of the uh, do, uh, do you mean the dimension of the section of the columns? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we estimated around uh, a diameter of diameter of 30, 40 centimeter for steel columns. Yeah, the time is out, but yes, the yes, of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> that was a it's like, yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. So you also have like a one minute to answer the question. Uh, I we'll take it. If you want. Wait, 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 wait. No, we'll take it. Wait, wait. I start the timer when they finish the question. So only one question, okay. only one answer, okay? Okay. So please, question. Okay. You're a gentleman. Next, the question, uh, given the geographical area, there, uh, there's lime, it's not rock, it's not solid, it's lime, because in the papers we, uh, we got, it stated it's lime. Yeah. So, so lime, is lime safe to dig in, and how much will you dig? You can use a reinforced system so that it would support your building during our diggings. Safe. Yeah. Yeah. How much? Yeah. But it's okay. It's a big question. Okay, <laughs> you've got the answer? Yep. Thank you, Kapitel Apatos Sukedoi. So, the next team is going to be. Architect! And welcome to the stage! Lucky you! <laughs>
like Microsoft, only we have okay. Let's start again. Technical break. 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 Parada, care e problema? Since we have some time, the team already presented, leave their materials here. Okay. Just a moment. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah, you can start. Start. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, start. system of buildings in a system zone. Frequently, seismic activities, type of used uh, nursery and materials, building age, and uh, foundation soil degradation. Yes, what we propose to do? First of all, innovative construction system for new buildings, consolidation of existing construction, optimal construction materials, economical rentable, short time, and family reside people with new technologies. Uh, as we know, the Izmir is situated in uh, the bed zone of Turkey and this uh, historical city has a very good geographical position because it's situated near the uh, Dardanelles and um, uh, Bosphor uh, channel, which is uh, very good uh, for um, materials which uh, can came from uh, cheaper materials which can be taken from other countries. Why is it not changing? Okay, yes. uh, we propose uh, some solutions for uh, old uh, buildings, for uh, new buildings, and uh, we can implement uh, this system uh, on this day or when we want. Okay, uh, we begin this uh, first uh, system, uh, here based by pneumatic and hydraulic system, what we can uh, put in underground floor. Uh, then uh, we can look, uh, he can move to, uh, in uh, another part uh, or uh, in counterpart for uh, influence of uh, seismic activities. Um, we put some um, uh, plate of metal and uh, he um, moved in another part of seismic activities. Another system, we proposed a pendulum system and, uh, um, and uh, it's a good system for uh, because he moved uh, uh, 360 uh, degree and he can move to, uh, in some part uh, horizontal um, by the oven or make a circle and uh, he um, uh, result to zero um, seismic force. Yes, and uh, we want to represent how work this system in a building. It's uh, made uh, usually for high uh, weight system. Here we have a paper with amplitude of seismic uh, activities. This is our building, and uh, how this building will be uh, in a seismic without our system. Yes, a simple building we have. And how we see, our building is falling down. And we propose a pendulum. Uh, this is our pendulum, we will make it on the top floor. Uh, uh, same uh, system is made in uh, Taipei 101, for now this building. Uh, and let's see. Down the tree, down the tree. Our building, our building is stay. Because, because the, our the pendulum, pendulum minimizes the seismic force. Uh, another system which we propose is uh, the first system. It's uh, characteristic for Turkish uh, architecture uh, elements like a uh, dome. A lot of uh, uh, 
Turkish uh, buildings have uh, a dome. And uh, the same dome, which is rotated on 360 degree this place. Uh, an analog system and uh, the innovation uh, in uh, seismic uh, uh, activities is our concept of new building, which we can see in uh, our uh, uh, models. This is our models. It's based on uh, two points of uh, 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 connecting with land. And we make, we propose to make uh, prefabricated boxes somewhere in, uh, at the factory, which is uh, uh, and place and uh, different place. It's not depend uh, by the. <coughs> so we have a lot of uh, this type of boxes which can be placed one on another and uh, make a different type of architecture. This kind of architecture with the cables uh, was inspired by Otto Fry, which used his uh, cables to make a different structure. And this is very good. Uh, and this type of system can be used in, in other types of. Yes, it's not matter what kind of rock is under, under our construction. Uh, the second, uh, the following system is uh, the same bearing system. I'll represent our colors. Uh, but uh, we uh, assure that uh, we assure that our system can be used only in a new construction with a new foundation system and only for two or, or one floor because the weight of construction is too much to resist and our uh, bearings only will be splashed. <laughs> yes. And uh, another uh, type of consolidation in our, our construction is to uh, make a drainage system, and we think that the classical drainage system is the best. Uh, we dig um, a hole around in the construction. Uh, it's not matter, new construction or uh, historical construction. In that uh, hole we put a tube which will collect the water, and here is uh, supplied with uh, broken rocks. Okay, uh, we have uh, some strength points, uh, what is uh, important for our uh, proposal. Um, first, structure resistance. Um, second, time durability, fast installation, minimum materials, 100% eco-friendly. And uh, opportunities was seismic resistance, architectural de design of new buildings, increased building resistance, <coughs> for all types of relief, keeps old facade, and new investors. Uh, we know that the uh, historical uh, part of city is very important to keep uh, how it is uh, now, how it was in, uh, in the past, and uh, we don't, uh, uh, we, we don't uh, should uh, um, change the materials with our new. It's a uh, um, <coughs> I don't know how to say that. Uh, it's very important thing to keep the old face of our construction and not to make a new, a new one. Change. Yes. <laughs> and about costs, uh, implementation of new system for construction with uh, five levels is uh, eighteen thousand euros for a uh, uh, hydraulic system only on underground. Uh, Level or only on the top level? Yes, we we speak here about one uh, one system in one building. Implementation of new system in a high levels building. Yes, is 24 euros. <coughs> this is cost for one pendulum. Drainage uh, system is 20 uh, 215 uh, uh, euro for cubic meter. And uh, for new construct buildings, about our boxes, mm -hmm. uh, we estimated one box will cost 130 euros. Uh, infrastructure ability, uh, it starts from 10 billion uh, yes, of euros, because uh, it's uh, too important to create the infrastructure. And the marketing research, it starts with 10 euros to uh, familiarize people with new technology and uh, new type of uh, construction. And the uh, Gantt uh, chart is uh, for one building and uh, for, uh, for one year. Yes. It's because we can't uh, speak about uh, uh, all buildings uh, together in, in one city. We should make uh, it for one building because we have a different type of building uh, with a different uh, type of uh, destroying or with different type of um, damage. And, uh, 
this is this is all. Uh, thank you. Okay, thank you. So you feel lucky today? We feel relaxed. Yeah, we saw. Yeah. We don't go in. <laughs> Can we go back to the slide when you show all the systems you you propose? Can you tell us uh, for which type of building, which system it will fit? Yes, uh, this type will be good for high level, as <coughs> I uh, mentioned, and all uh, the same with uh, the existing building. Uh, we can make at the top of level a new level with where we place our pendulum. For the historical building, to not uh, make a different counterforce or something, in underground level we can put this system and to connect it to the columns which uh, sustain that buildings with a pneumatic system which have a weight and uh, will uh, reduce. And that's the same with in a uh, historical Please buildings be quiet. which have uh, the same type of yeah, construction of roof. And that system is our concept of a new building because in the task was how we can uh, populate, uh, how we can uh, make a new con concept of building for people, uh, which uh, will be safety. So this type of safety. Yes. Okay. Our books don't uh, uh, stay on the ground. It's yes, floating, uh, like a floating bridge. Like a, like a floating bridge is this system. Mm -hmm. Other questions? Yeah, for uh, this type of buildings, how long should be the pendulum? How long? Uh, for example, how tall? Yes, for example, in uh, type A 101, the pendulum has a five force mm -hmm. height. Uh, it depends uh, of uh, how height is our building. For example, uh, 101 uh, floors is five, five floors pendulum. Yes, five floors. Okay. And what you will, because it should be inside, um, how you will free that space where pendulum should be and uh, should uh, move, and what you will do with the yes. rooms from there and the people from there? Uh, where is pendulum uh, is an uh, empty space because uh, uh, how we show in that construction system is a system with uh, um, elevator. Important. Important. Yeah, yes, this is where canal, <laughs> and we have uh, um, free space. Yes, free space. So all the, bu all the buildings has uh, not, such not all. a... No, 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 no. Uh, this is one type of construction system. Mm -hmm. One of okay. the most... Okay, okay. Yeah, thank I you. Have another question. Uh, you say that uh, your system is uh, eco-friendly 100%. Can you prove it, why it's eco-friendly? Yes, of course, because we have no emissions, mm -hmm. no emissions. Uh, but materials, I mean, materials. What materials? Kind of materials we uh, don't use concrete, and uh, we don't have, uh, don't have emissions, because, you know, if we use concrete, uh, emissions is... Okay, I mean, it's not just emissions, it could be materials, but it's... Uh, okay, it's almost only for friends, that's why I ask. Steel. Okay. We have, we, we use steel, we use... Concrete, we can use uh, uh, timber for uh, these elements. Today is possible. Okay. Just one. And, uh, uh, no one of this system is uh, placed outside of building. It's inside of building, and we can isolate uh, uh, that element. One more question from my side. Can sure. you pass to the side with the cost? <laughs> it's not an every day. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'll accept all that money. Uh, <laughs> can you please tell basic what you include in the cost estimate? Uh, for example, for first system, uh, yes, it's uh, about this system. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, um, included in that cost the cost of steel and the cost of uh, each pneumatic element of mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. okay, we do have one more question from Kofi de la Paz. How would you make the system that connects with the pendulum and the building? 
Sustain our box and the cables. You can see the uh, models. And uh, in the seismic activity, we'll uh, move only that uh, pylons, and our box will be like a, a floating bridge. Uh, we know about uh, uh, Golden Gate in, uh, in America, which is uh, that, which is uh, which support a lot of vibration, and it's not broken. It's not falling down. It's using this way. Yes, we use the same concept. Okay, thank you, architect. Unfortunately, the time is out, so I can offer you another question. Okay, if you have more questions, just discuss them with Brian. Okay, thank you very much. It's really annoying. So please, if you want to discuss something, get out and discuss there. <laughs> okay, everyone is ready. Yep. So, ideal team, your time starts <coughs> right now. Good evening, I'm Alex, he's Andy, she's Lorena, and he's Andre. Today, we are going to present you our rehabilitation plan. Well, we want to we want to emphasize the community. Nobody talked about uh, the community. We want, to, we want to involve the community because the funds in Turkey are very low. So we would like to involve the community into the, uh, into the development. We want to give them the opportunity to rebuild their own city because this is a great opportunity. Uh, we would like to collaborate with businesses and then to, uh, uh, to uh, take the government support in order to create a safe and growing city. Well, this is our plan. All right, so we decided our plan will uh, take about uh, five years. In the first year, uh, we're going to be researching the soil and area. After that, uh, we're going to go with uh, evacuation and uh, relocation, project uh, implementing, and uh, moving the evicted people back to their homes. Uh, these three will uh, take place uh, almost uh, intermittently. Which means we will first evacuate a group of people. And after uh, we will reallocate them into living modules. Uh, we are gonna implement our project, and after that we're gonna move back to that group of people. While while at the same time we're gonna take another group of people. Yeah. And we also so have a community on. involvement team. But in, during the first third year, we will take projects from the community in order to propose new ideas, how to transform the city. Then we will uh, involve the community into developing their own buildings. You will see later how. Uh, moving on. Okay. Uh, Best gave us some numbers from which we extracted that Izmit has 320,000 inhabitants, from which 75% were almost under 45 years. So we did some math, 
man decided, estimated that there, there should be around 1,100 homes, given the fact that they're traditional families and they live like they're like almost, on an average, four people in a home. This is how we did the math. <laughs> Statistics and engineering. Um, we estimated uh, the 100,000 homes based on these calculations. Uh, we established a code uh, for ranking the homes and uh, the buildings already in Izmit, which we have to rehabilitate. Basically, we have to do no intervention of white code. It means the building is uh, built with good material uh, and it's not damaged. We have the yellow code, the orange code, and the red code. I'm going to present them to you now. Yep, sure. This is the total number of homes uh, before, um, before deciding how to uh, implement those steps we had to make a research uh, to see how many houses, how many blocks, how many blocks uh, greater than four floors could be integrated into those categories. Uh, we estimated them uh, taking as an example uh, the cities in, uh, in Turkey that have the same population and uh, we created those statistics. Okay, so the yellow code, uh, code means uh, there are buildings made out of reinforced concrete which are older than 40 years and also could be made out of fire brick or cement or mortar. Okay, and the materials uh, used to rebuild and uh, restructure uh, the whole uh, building uh, is uh, milk cement, fiberglass, waterproof foil. Uh, these two are used for uh, the foundation to rebuild it and uh, to avoid the, the water infiltrate. And also we use a cross metal beam. For uh, houses uh, we use uh, only 500 uh, euros. For blocks uh, less than four uh, floor we use uh, 10,000 euros. And for blocks also use uh, 20,000 euros. Maybe you wonder what's uh, with the fiberglass there. It's fiberglass foil that we applied onto uh, the brick. So by applying this fiberglass foil the bricks won't move they will act as, a, as a strong as a concrete wall. It's the cheapest solution on the market. It was tested by the British because they have a lot of brick homes there. So, a lot of rain. Yeah, and a lot of rain. It's also waterproof. Now okay. for the... For the orange show, the ranked uh, buildings, they're usually made of fire bricks. They're higher than three floors and could also be made out of cement and mortar and higher than three floors. Also here we use uh, the same uh, materials we used on the yellow code. Uh, in plus, we use uh, <laughs> we use uh, concrete steel oriented strength board, cross metal beams, and that cost uh, one thousand euro, twenty thousand euro, and forty thousand euro. As the same as I said uh, in the previous uh, so, slide. This is for a house. This is for a uh, um, high level, and this is for uh, more than five, 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 five levels. Okay, and for the red one, which means we. We are actually demolishing the buildings that could not be rehabilitated, uh, only not those that are valuable to the community, because those might be historically important. Uh, they're usually made out of natural stone and they're higher than one floor or made out of fine clay, dry masonry and unfair bricks. If you, we try to rebuild it, then uh, the cost for the materials was more expensive than the build a new one, so we decided to uh, demolate them and construct them from zero with uh, the last uh, materials that we have on the market. Also, we will use the land. We will tell you uh, next. We have a standard solution for rehabilitating buildings. Uh, we want to uh, strengthen the columns with steel and concrete. We also want to double the columns where necessary. We also want to double the, the foundations where necessary. Uh, we also will we'll, uh, inject uh, liquid concrete uh, where the foundations are cracked, so we will strengthen more those uh, foundations. Uh, we also uh, would uh, implement cross beams in order to reduce the lateral movement of the columns. Uh, those cross beams will be made of steel. We also use foundation dampers, but uh, moreover, uh, we will use uh, springs and um, and rubber dampers in order to uh, to not only compensate the horizontal movement but also the vertical movement. Uh, those are the standard solutions as well with, with the pendulum for the new constructed buildings. Uh, the innovation: we will build new buildings out of mass-produced hexagonal modules. They were pre-built. They, they are cheaply to to build because. Uh, they are standardized, they, they could be produced in a factory and they could be uh, mounted uh, easily. Also, we will use 3D printed cement houses. We can use robotic arms which cost 150,000 euros per uh, arm and 
The cost of building a new house is 5,000 euros per house. We use only <coughs> cement, it's just like a paste. And also modular wooden building puzzle based, or uh, CNC cut, those puzzle based buildings could be assembled by people. Uh, we integrate the community, uh, we relocate them in modular homes like containers in order to move uh, those containers around, we create temporary communities, we create an everlasting community in a safe city in the end because we uh, gather everyone together. Also, uh, how we get the man? We tax reduce uh, uh, the people that get involved. We get deals for the real estate developers. We give them the land from the, people, from the buildings we demolished. In return, they give us homes for the people that lived there and they also build uh, higher buildings in order to accommodate more, make a profit uh, by helping us. Uh, we also reduce the taxes for the industry that uh, consolidate our buildings and also uh, we try to convince the government to give us funds in order to rehabilitate the infrastructure, the, the pipes, the gas, the gas pipes, the electric uh, wires, and so on. And also, we try to convince the government to sell land in returns of more homes from the real estate developers. Also, we need metrics to see if we are effective. Every project needs, ma needs metrics, so it's imperiously necessary to have these metrics in mind. Uh, in the end, we will tell you about our SWOT analysis. All right, as you can see, our the project is uh, pattern implementable, it's uh, stable, our risk, risk assessment is really strong since we thought of every situation. Uh, our project is also standardized, which also makes it cost effective. As opportunities, we can expand our project to our, throughout the cities of Turkey. We are in, implicating the community and we can use the quasi-totalitarian government to uh, a sort of... Uh, Collaborate. Yes. Collaborate. <laughs> Make the only threat we possible. actually found was moderator itself, which means an actor would actually strive to during our implementation. But this is safe because moving people to containers means that those containers are well fixed and they won't collapse. Just to be sure. We're so, them so while we're moving the people out from the from the buildings, we also are making them safe while we are consolidating. Yeah, to be sure, we're moving them so they won't inhale like all that's building around them to be safe uh, for health and for, for everything. All right, questions? <laughs> <laughs> in order to create those wooden buildings and the fact that wood is a regenerable uh, source of material uh, this is eco-friendly. On the other hand, we use CNC cutting and professional algorithms in order to reduce the total amount of wood used. Also, by using, by using cement and those 3D printers we make the process of building the temper the, those houses more efficient. We use less cement, less cement is filled out and so on. So this is eco-friendly. And we also we use the materials from the demolished houses, like bricks, <coughs> stones, uh, wood, and so on. We try to be realistic, though. Like, yeah, you can wood see is like quite 100%. expensive, actually. Yes, it is quite expensive, but it is not the main resource we are using. Uh, we wanted to use you to use wood because also we are using people to build those wooden houses. So the fact that we won't uh, have costs with the workers compensate the wood cost. Okay, and another question, uh, how did you analyze where you will move geographically people in that new temporary places, houses, and uh, what about the infrastructure there? Yeah, well, we analyzed the, the map you've given us. <coughs> we've seen that uh, Istanbul is 100 kilometers away, so it may be uh, one of the prior destinations for moving the people out. But also, on the other hand, we've seen that um, the... Um, Location is very close to the sea, so we can we can uh, easily uh, get those uh, containers by sea, by ships, and mount them around the uh, the city. But what we have to take into consideration is the fact that we won't move all the people out at the, at the same, same time. time. We will we will be um, moving them incrementally in small steps in order to uh, be effective and cost efficient. So uh, <laughs> you proposed, please. 
you propose to move out people either to Istanbul, either to close It's the... quite uh, far away. No, uh, we propose to move them out, but if we run out of space, mm -hmm. we can also get the help from Istanbul. Do you see any risk in this uh, idea of yours? Well, the risk is to, uh, to uh, break the community apart. <coughs> we, we take this into consideration, so uh, that's why we are trying to move uh, the people from one building uh, that uh, know each other, that uh, are a small community, and to not disrupt the larger community. Okay. There is also the reluctance to introduce movement, like yeah. it's all about the people, and they are kind of long and would say it like that. Yeah. But if the idea that it's for the greater good for the community and for their life itself from now on, if that's implemented in their heads, it should work. And because we are using containers and we are, aren't moving them for a large period of time, we're moving them for maximum three months to four months, that means that we can get them around where we want. So it's not that complicated. We are not we're restricted. Not, we're we can not to break the economy, you know? Yeah, like that's can, why we're moving them for short periods. Of time. Yeah, we can move them, I don't know. 30 meters away from the building, if there's space. Mm -hmm. But that depends on the city's architecture. Mm -hmm. uh, one of your proposal was uh, tax reduction for people. What do you mean? What well, kind of tax? Taxes? If you get involved into the building, into the rebuilding, if you want to work for the rebuilding, uh, you won't be taxed out. You won't pay uh, taxes for your property, you won't pay taxes for rebuilding your, for your house getting rebuilt. So it's somehow uh, putting your work into the reward of uh, your house being uh, reconstructed. And also... Uh, could you bring back the slide with the costs? Yeah, sure. Uh, the costs are spread out. So they are also on the innovation part. Some general with, costs. Which Some general costs. General for costs cities. for the modules. Or for the ranking for, for, for one building, let's say. For well, for one uh, okay, for one building. Let's say we have uh, 10,000 euros per module. We will need two modules per apartment, at least, because one module is around 30 square meters or something like that. So in order to build uh, four apartments per floor, that means 80,000 euros per floor. How many people can live there? Uh, in an apartment, three to four people. Uh -huh. So it's just like in a regular uh, apartment block when you have. And for, for the whole city, what uh, numbers, what uh, money do you need? Uh, it, uh, for, for building. Did, no, yeah. for, for the whole city. Well, because we weren't given information about how many, we weren't given certain information about how many houses are there, how many blocks are there, and so on. We cannot give you a, a perfect estimation. So uh, you assumed. Yeah, we just assumed by doing some statistic work, but what we expected to be uh, is around uh, five to uh, uh, ten to uh, sorry five to ten thousand euro per uh, per home, given the fact that we will uh, receive money from uh, the investors. That money is uh, okay. Thank you very much, Idal if we make this, uh, we like to take yeah. questions, so we can take but, as much as you want to ask us. Yeah, yeah but we do. We're running out of time. Okay. All right. So you as as each team before yours uh, get a question. Uh, yeah, I give you. If some of the team will get equal somehow, we will make another session of QI uh, after. Okay. So yeah. you'll get enough questions. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sure. That's, that's Maybe but uh, since everybody else got yeah. a question from yeah, the public, okay. yeah. So and uh, I, we have three questions from architect, Ikipa uh, de la and uh, UI Ken Sharp. Yeah. Yes. So I, yeah. <laughs> I, I give you the, I give you the permission to take one of those three questions. You're gonna get that. Yeah. Sure. Are they gonna be upset? No, you can answer the questions after the, the yeah, session. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, just uh, right now you have one minute to answer one question. Okay, and right. so they was first with their hands raised. Okay, so, it's, okay. Uh, so the question you, is? Can you put the Gantt chart to the slide? Sure. <laughs> okay. Firstly, why you uh, build the, the... Just one question. So yeah. make, make, <laughs> make it, uh, make it <laughs> one. The first 
you build the process and then uh, evacu uh, evacuation process, uh, then you um, move the resident and oh, you yeah, have. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so basically, this, One minute. This is the of timeline. Okay, so this happens first. At first, you have to evacuate them. So then you can build, and afterwards, you have to bring them back in order to move some other people there. Yeah, but the, the, the uh, building is uh, made in the same time with the evacuation. No, I mean, because, you no, have because a, we're not moving everybody in the same time. So this is just. An estimation, well, like this is one block, this is another block, like that. It just, it's not just like we are tearing one building off and we are taking the people uh, out only of that building. Uh, those stages com were composed from uh, more building reconstructions. So we have three to four buildings, we cannot get everyone out. We get them out in steps. That's why they're Okay, thank you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Daisy. So on the flip-flop squad, is to the stage. with the higher resistance to earthquakes. So, our objective is focusing on flexibility instead of rigidity. And Christina will present you the step one. The first step is, analyzing the, is the analyzing stage. The most important step is to know the, and analyze the situation we have so we know exactly what to do. Technical inspections of all the buildings this includes free inspection for personal houses and for the bridges. This will help us know exactly what needs to be done. The buildings will be classified into two categories. Buildings that can be rehabilitated and buildings that cannot be rehabilitated. Alright, step two of our process. <coughs> now step two will have to prevent the corrosion of the foundation. This will be done by uh, repairing the sewage system because most of the problem with the foundation is that the water infiltrates there and by repairing it we can make sure that it don't stay, the water don't stay at the place very long. We consider that this system is a very serious issue and we build up all that we have to do to repair it. Alright, let's continue with the step 300 please. Uh, some of the buildings are too rigid and don't contain any flexible materials. 
for an example, building or structure in bricks without uh, kind of metal to sustain the wall structure. The build that cannot be repaired must be demolished because surely there will be a lot of Jewish people in case of earthquake. Uh, and in case of iron residents, the purchase one wouldn't be a problem, but if there are, we have to inform them about the danger of living there and help, help them to find a new home. For this problem, we thought of a new building concept with a paraboloid form. Now we see the paraboloid form house concept. <coughs> this is a top view and this is a front view. This concept already exists and it's available on the market. It's very cheap, under 1,000 euros. It's constructed from different pieces that are assembled together and can be assembled very quickly and easily. Here are two nested together. They can be a lot more than that. Uh, they have a high earthquake resistance because of their structure made out of eight pieces. They could be easily disassembled and moved somewhere else. They could be easily nested and they could be extended into little neighborhoods that would be very safe. Now for the buildings that could be rehabilitated, depending on their states, states the following changes will be made. For the spaces between windows and doors that are very weak and vulnerable, we have to be reinforce those zones with concrete steel. Very large fissures uh, and cracks, his masonry walls will be repaired using cement. For the smaller buildings, be, uh, between taller buildings, we will use a metal roof because some pieces will fall down on the smaller ones. To prevent the condensation inside the buildings, there must be implemented a proper airflow system. For schools, we would like to introduce safety desks that will be described later. The same for the hospitals. Uh, safety beds and for big glass buildings we would add sound resisting window windows because this is very important. For personal houses we cannot change their structure but we can offer the owners free inspection and maybe some funds for families that cannot afford fixing their houses. And because those parabolic houses are very cheap we could offer them this alternative. Now Christina will explain this safety bed. This looks like a normal bed, but it's uh, on top of a steel box. So, here are some sensors that detect if there are movement. Of course, there's a safety button, so if you want to move the bed, the button can be pressed and nothing will happen. So, if it detects, the uh, pressure will come down, the box will close, and inside there are uh, water bottles and oxygen tubes. This is also already on the market. It's not, I don't know uh, what kind of uh, market, but they're, they're still out. Right. Uh, about rehabilitating the, the existing buildings, the main problems <coughs> are those two cases, and we have a solution for every case. For the best, uh, first case, we have this solution. We know that it's more resistant uh, structure. This is not, uh, it's not high technology, it's very cheap. Is the uh, uh, fastest solution we could get in a very short time. Now, for the second case, after we solved the first one, we have uh, two sliders on each side of the building, and those sliders will slide uh, when an earthquake occurs. Now, it's more efficient to be flexible instead of <coughs> opposite the force of an earthquake because that would be much heavier. Alright, the next one is new concept of buildings for new buildings. Georgia? Uh, a few have been building. We have the horrible houses which we discussed later, uh, which was discussed, and also a strong airport and rolling buildings. Here we have the building. This, this is the base of the which is reinforced as a stone. The ground, of course, and here is the rolling foundation. Here is the rolling foundation. It's a concept that already exists, and this piece will be shown later. It's a prefabricated. Uh, we will use this piece, Roman, in the rolling bridge because the bridges are also important. We don't know how many bridges are in this city, but if there are a well, lot, it will be very important. So here is a fixed part, and here is a sphere which moves. 
Now, here is the rolling system, and we use steel wires to secure the bridge. Now, about the financial field. Christina, please. Um, so, the problem of the collection are slides. Four sliders equals three cube meters. We need four sliders for medium sized building, uh, three meters of cement, and cross stones, which gives us a price of four thousand euros. Also, we should take into consideration the steel. Here depends the price on the size of the building. Now, uh, depends on the size of the building. If you take into consideration one side, we have this steel line. If we have the height of the building, we could uh, calculate this um, distance, and we know how many, how much steel we need, and make a cost. We, based on the population of the city, approximately uh, 350,000 uh, uh, people, we estimated the price of maybe 100 million. We don't know for sure. It depends on the state of the buildings. If there are a lot of historical buildings, old buildings. We have to take care of those two. This will depend on the state of the building. Now, informing the population is very important. George? So, we, because a lot of people are not aware of the danger of the earthquake, we want to organize public sessions and trainings for informing them about the dangers, the zone in, in which they are living, and how to protect themselves. Uh, there will be also mandatory sessions uh, of simulation of projects in school and business centers and commercial centers. Now, our SWOT anal analysis. Christina? Uh, our strengths, if we have safer buildings, then we have a safer life. Uh, also, we can use this opportunity to develop the new versatile <coughs> buildings. Uh, we can repair the sewage system and educate the population about the zone that they are living in. As weaknesses, we could uh, face the lack of cooperation with the population that maybe don't want to move from their houses, and claustrophobia in case of using the safety beds or the safety desk. Uh, as threats, we could face an earthquake that can happen while we are uh, developing our uh, plan. Uh, people may not want to move from their homes, and they will not agree with the changes that we want to make on their city. Thank you. And now we have the timetable. We take into consideration the critical buildings first, and now we find new homes for people we are moving. <laughs> now, rehabilitation of critical buildings may take a while, but those are the most important, as well as bridges, because bridges are <coughs> everyday used. Thank you. Your time is out. Thank you for the presentation. Thank for the questions. So, please. You run about materials and ecology. Right. Maybe uh, I missed. Uh, it depends. Uh, we said about uh, steel, mm -hmm. and at the bottom of the slider, there should be a strong foundation to hold that slider. There is a slider on the face of the building, and there is a slider on the ground. That slider on the ground should have a strong foundation made of cement and. Uh, a crashed stone and paraboloid. Where did you, where, from where you will take the materials? You will product it in Izmir or will bring by sea or somewhere else? From the cheapest source, that's for sure. Um, I think that in Turkey there is a lot of uh, crushed stone that wouldn't be a problem. With the cement, that should uh, be a made the research, find the cheapest okay. one. And about the ecology, how you will take that in mind? We took that in mind because uh, that uh, parabolic houses are made of wood and they are not very, very tall. And they are easy to move, so kind of eco-friendly and some cheap materials, okay. easy to assemble. Thanks. How does the slide work? Can you show once again? I have some questions. Right. Uh, maybe. <laughs> no, not this one. Uh, this one also I have questions, but show me the... Uh, oh, yeah, here? this one, yes. All right. How is it working? For example, uh, it's happening a lot today, now. Now, if... <coughs> um, 
stage that way, so you need those slider moves. And the other ones as too, but it will Up and down or how? Yes, yes, here. And here. <laughs> it must match the position because you cannot make a slider move like that and a slider move like that. It has to match so those two. Uh, and for which type of uh, <coughs> buildings you want to use it? Uh, of course, a very tall one that uh, has a big risk because uh, for the small one, we have this strong system. It's all right, but if there is a tall building, we have to use those sliders because if it's tall, it's pretty um, hard to get to its foundation. So we must uh, do something outside. Okay, I got your point. So now let's imagine a situation. You have a lot of buildings, of high buildings in a business sector. Imagine to all that buildings attached a slider. How the infrastructure will look? Yeah. Of course. Do you have another solution for tall buildings? For tall buildings? Yes. For tall buildings, uh, we could use, maybe you say, uh, you see uh, here, that this line is uh, thicker than the other one. This represents steel because you must uh, make a solid, solid frame. So you will need a frame? Yes, a frame. Okay. frame a solid frame mm -hmm. of steel. Uh, another question is about your um, innovation that you propose, or the capsules, or how do you call them? The parabolid. The parabolid, yes. Uh, where do you see them applied? For how many people? Uh, I see them applied not in the city because they are very small, near the city, at, in peripheral, peripheral zones. Mm -hmm. And depending on uh, our necessities, we thought that it could bring a family of four members into one. But as you saw, there could be two mm -hmm. united by a four. One parable, it, uh, it has uh, approximately four, four meter diameter. Mm -hmm. yes. But this would be easily modified. Okay, how about the approach for historical uh, buildings? For the historical buildings, uh, it's your favorite <coughs> question apparently today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You care about history. Uh, it depends on their state. They are very important, but I consider that life is more important than historical buildings. Now, if okay. they are uh, they are in not uh, good shape and they are collapsed on its own, we don't have anything to do. But if they are in a good state, we could reinforce them using. Those techniques and still. Thank you. Yes. Uh, opportunities educate the population. What do you mean? To inform them about the dangerous zone that they are living in, because most most of them don't know or maybe don't care or. We want to educate them about that and protect themselves. <coughs> and, uh, okay, and okay, and what is the opportunity for your project? Okay, you inform them, and uh, what is the opportunity? Opportunity to, uh, to live a safer life and not be injured by the earthquake. And as you can see in our timetable, we do that every year on certain periods we study and we schedule them. But on the whole period, people must be informed <coughs> about the danger and how important it is. Because there is a big chance to be an earthquake until 2034. So they should expect that. So not to be reluctant oh. to ideas. Yeah. Not to be reluctant. Okay, the time is out. So we're out of the time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. This moment, thank you everyone for your presentations. The jury has, excuse me? One question they can take, no? Yeah, but I, they had no questions. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> finally, <laughs> the public had no questions. You did? I didn't say anything. Okay, one more question. One more question. Question. It's a question. Okay, say it. Yeah, I, I, I've heard that. We're going to discuss it with the jury. Yes. Okay.
you use the plaza and plus not to allow it? Yeah. So it's like the right. Oh, just a second. I need your attention, guys. There is an announcement. Yep. I'm sure we're going to tell you. În momentul de față, circulă un stick între echipe, fie ca echipă să-și încarce prezentarea pe el. Da, sticul la mine. Cea de azi. Cea de azi. Doar cea de azi.